Today, we're taking a look at the pop movies Gremlins number 609. This is Greta. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And as I said, today we're taking a look at the pop movies 609 Gremlins, Greta. Uh, this is from Gremlins 2. I'm not sure why they mark it as being from Gremlins when it's clearly Gremlins 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Gremlins 2 The New Batch came out in 1990. It is considered an American comedy horror film. Uh, horror is a little strong. I wouldn't really call it a horror movie. Um, the original, the first one, fine, yes. That I would consider a horror movie. Gremlins 2 The New Batch, uh, not so much. As you can see on the back here, we got four, uh, 609, which is Greta, and 610, which is the flashing gremlin. Greta really showed up in Gremlins 2 during the New York, New York uh, song uh, where she pops up through one of the uh, eyes of the cardboard picture or giant photo of her. Uh, and then she chases after Robert Picardo's character uh, for the rest of the film. And at the end of the film... Uh, gets him, marries him, and uh, starts kissing him, and it's a little weird, but he kind of ends up liking it. <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Robert Picardo played the Doctor on Star Trek Voyager. So, so let's go ahead and open the box and take a look inside. So, Greta is the first and so far the only female gremlin uh actually i'm not entirely sure if there is really a um way to determine if they're male or female considering they don't have any reproductive organs uh for those of you who don't know gremlins uh reproduce when they get wet uh as mogwai's when they get wet, they uh, create other mogwais. Uh, and then when they become gremlins, uh, eating after midnight, and they get wet, they produce other gremlins. Uh, so anyway, <clears throat> um, it was never really made clear if Greta was actually a female gremlin or not um <laughs> i always kind of saw her growing up i always kind of saw her as kind of a transvestite gremlin but anyway very nice sculpt to this uh she was the only of the gremlins who wasn't really mischievous really uh, she was more horny, for lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and angle this down just a little bit. There we go. Alright, as you can see, Greta does come with a display stand. She was the one of the only Gremlins to survive the end of Gremlins 2. Um being locked in the bathroom with Robert Picardo's character. Uh, so she did not get wet or electrocuted like the others did. Uh, I kind of wish they would make the Bat Gremlin and Spider Gremlin, a.k.a. Spike, from Gremlins 2. But I really like the shade of green that they used on her. Very nice. Looks a lot like the movie. You got the white leopard print mini skirt and tube top uh blue or purple knees you got her eye shadow and really 
thick lipstick there. Very nice. Green hair. The only gremlin with actual hair. I'm not sure if it's a wig or if it's actually her hair. I'd imagine it's a wig, but you never know. And then she's got the uh, little Madonna beauty mark there. Very, very nice. The scales, they did a great job with the detail on this. Uh, they really sculpted all the scales. Looks very nice. Very crisp paint job. Uh, however, the back of mine, as you guys may have seen, uh, there is a scratch mark on the back of her hair. Uh, I did purchase this new from Amazon, so it must have been a factory error. So, very nice. Uh, the head only turns so much because of the hair and the shoulders. It kind of block, or I mean the elbows, it kind of blocks it. Uh, but other than that, very nice. Uh, I'm glad I bought it from my collection. Uh, I wish they would do more of Gremlins in this style for Funko Pop rather than the original style that you saw with the Pop Movies Gremlins figure that was actually Stripe, but they marketed him as Gremlins. Um, I like this a lot better. It looks more movie accurate. Um... The other ones just looked really cartoony to me. So anyway, there you have it, guys. We have a week left until Halloween. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the witching season. Uh, make sure to go out, get you some candy on Halloween night. Maybe visit a few haunted houses. Uh, try not to toilet paper or egg any houses, though. That's just very uncool. Anyway, for Comageddon TV, I'm Shannon. Wishing you a very happy Halloween. Take care, my friends. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos.